Listen. The game played out basically exactly how, how we previewed the game and how we talked about the game going in. 49ers, better team. Peace at Mahomes. And this is what I even said to my buddies yesterday as, as I went over uh, to my friend's place for the game. I was like, I don't even want to watch any of this pregame stuff. Let's just watch the golf because there was the waste management open. Mm-hmm. Let's just watch that because everything that needed to be said leading up to this game has already yeah. been said. There's not going to be anything new under the sun that will be said on these pregame shows. It's as yeah. simple as the Chiefs have Mahomes and the Niners have a damn good team. Mm-hmm. Probably an overall better team than the Chiefs. Mm-hmm. What else is there to say? Should be a good game. Yeah. That's it. And that's exactly how it played out. Mm-hmm. Literally exactly how the game played out. I think Purdy showed up, uh, but he didn't elevate as much as you need to to beat him Mahomes. And then, uh, yeah, close game. And even though the Chiefs are down fourth quarter, it's Patrick Mahomes, bro. Like, it's, it's, it's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. It, is anyone surprised at what took place? No, it, you, you shouldn't be. If you were surprised, you don't know ball. <laughs> oh, yeah, I agree, man. I agree. It was very much that, um, yeah, elite team with really good quarterback play versus elite quarterback play with a really good team. And we say this is the debate that we have every single year when putting together rosters. Can you win? without the guy the top five guy and everything else around you be elite versus when you're facing one of those top five type guys and we know if they get going you know just certain things that they're able to do um it really boiled down to that i would say this though a lot of people don't give it enough credit and i've heard it you know most people say it almost like the game was like sluggish or boring or not exciting early on. I thought the defenses were doing a heck of a job in this game. Both teams providing pressure consistently, both teams not allowing explosive plays and creating turnovers. That was the one thing for me that I really enjoyed. But then I also enjoyed the chess match of how both Andy Reid and Kyle Shanahan in the second half having to make adjustments offensively to kind of get certain things flowing. Now with San Fran, I thought first half it was more self-inflicted why their drive stalled whereas with the chiefs it was like man i thought they was having some issues blocking chase young hargrave and they going um uh bosa man and when you get the chance to see that part and then from there you see mahomes evolve as the game goes on and in the overtime it's like this is what we're talking about when we say you have an elite guy or you don't it's like man Purdy, i thought was balling i thought Purdy played a dope game he missed like he had, two yeah, or one three or two misses, yeah. He missed like two or three throws late in the game. Yeah. That Mahomes but, makes. And then the one miss though is defense. Chris Jones. That's the part for me that I loved. I saw it with Josh Allen. Yeah. It was like, yo, that's Chris Jones. He's winning. That's what the one in that right corner yeah, of the end zone. Absolutely. It's like otherwise that's a touchdown. But when you have defenders, when your players are making plays, I thought for the Chiefs, their three superstars played like superstars. When Mahomes had to be a guy, he was a guy. When it was time for Kelsey to make plays, he made them plays. And when Chris Jones had to step up defensively, he did. And it's like, man, if the Those way Chiefs corners were pretty sticky too. What think about Lejarius Sneed all season though? Yeah, that's part of the reason why we're McDuffie. even interested in him. Yeah, I thought McDuffie balled out, but first team All Pro. I told you that's the guy that is all first team All Pro over the dude up in Buffalo. But he's more of the corner of the coverage corner, whereas Taron is more of the I'm gonna play against that run and blitz and stuff like that. So. In that vein, man, I just thought that both of those teams and both of the secondary parts of those teams really showed up. But at the end, it did boil down to you keep giving Patrick Mahomes opportunities, whether it's at the end of the regular regulation or even in overtime. It's like y'all gave this man how many chances to win the game? He kicked the field goal to one time. All right, they put it to one time. It's like, okay, how many times are you going to give Mahomes a chance to just dagger you and end this? And with certain quarterbacks, you can't play that game. And eventually you keep playing it with Mahomes and he's going to do what he did. Because all it takes for him is to get that drive. Because once he does, he can click. And now it's too late. It's over. That final drive in regulation, they were in field goal position it, within bro. like 15 seconds. Yeah. When it's time for him to go, <laughs> it was like, boom, like a machine. But I think about the series of two before. It's like, yo, y'all had chances to either expand it or to kind of shut that door. And y'all let them oh, hang yeah, when around. Oh, yeah, that pick. Yeah, you let him hang around. Early in the second half. It's let like, him hang man, around, bro. You got to capitalize. Because I don't even think they got points off that. They didn't. 
So it's like you let Mahomes hang around. Mahomes isn't the type of quarterback that is not going to show up in the big moment. We know he's the guy that historically has shown up in those moments. That's big credit to the Chiefs defense because we we could talk about the Chiefs offense being lesser than what they have been in the past, but Mm -hmm. this is hands down the best Chiefs defense that Mahomes has dealt with. Absolutely. So for him to make that mistake, make that pick, for the Chiefs defense stepping up like the way that they did. And that's my thing where I'm like, you know, both of these defenses I thought played really well, bro. I thought Bo, I thought Steve Wilkes had a dope job or did a dope job with the Niners defense. And I thought Spagnuolo did a dope job guarding that Niners offense, man. That Niners offense is tough to deal with, man. I Just, think that was McCaffrey's lowest YPC. For yeah, it was the whole crazy, year. bro. It's crazy. Like 22 carries, 80 yards. I mean, he nah, still he had was the still catches balling, and stuff. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Had the fumble early on. That, and every was, time he touched the ball, did bad. it still feel like, yo, he about to do something special? Like, he has that feel. I'm just like, yo, they, oh, get him down. Ah, they got him down. All right, they got him down. Man. But, yeah, man, when you keep giving Mahomes the opportunities, that's literally what it comes down to because the San Fran played well enough, man. They played well enough. Take the team to overtime, man. Yeah. It's like they played well enough, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you went to overtime with. The and best scored in overtime. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you scored. You're talking about one pass going your way. Yeah. One decision, maybe like maybe the, if Kyle the, Shanahan the, yeah, take the ball versus yeah. What's man. your thoughts on that, bro? Oh, uh, you know how I feel. You gotta kick that. You gotta defer to that because you want to know what exactly you have to deal with when you get the ball on offense. Even though you know your defense was just carved up and just got whooped down the field, and you're talking about a difference of maybe a couple of minutes, you about to put them right back so out there. I've heard that explanation, but yeah. Shanahan said it wasn't because of them. And being I heard tired. that too in terms of them saying the whole. Yeah, we want them to score, or we score, they score, we get another chance to score, because that's a part of the new overtime rules as well, sure. But to me, I looked at it as more so as, bro, your defense, you just got them killed. Like, we we just said, right, man, bro, went down the field on them, man. And that you about to turn around and put them right back out that there. That was less than two minutes. It wasn't like a seven, eight-minute drive. Dude, you ain't been out there, bro. That but again, counts, I, man. But like, Shanahan again, said it wasn't man. due to that. I know, and that was the part that was, part that was weird. That was part that so was if weird that's me, not man. at play, you have to kick that. I'm with you, bro. Because you're able to use every down then. The 49ers almost had to punt. Correct. Yeah. They they got bailed out with that call. If anything, like, let's shout out the refs. That was that was a good call. Like, I would agree. Very good call game by them. I would agree, man. If anything, the only ticky-tack call was, I think, that one that extended the Niners series in overtime. That holding. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was like a little triple. I didn't even see like a holding like that. I but anyway, it, it, it yeah. didn't go for the mean. Chiefs yeah, <laughs> like yeah, yeah. everyone would expect it to. Right. It was actually for the 49ers. Did the Chiefs get it? I don't think the Chiefs got the lucky calls. I thought they got the lucky breaks. Dre Greenlaw blowing his Achilles yeah, coming from the sideline. I'm like, bro, what? Yeah, and then the one off the uh, Niners guy on the punt. Oh, yeah. or Because um, it went off the night. It was, it was like it, his it was ankle. His foot yeah. or something. And then McLeod had to try to yeah, get it. Yeah, people, ki- people were trying to kill it. Ray Ray. I'm like, man, Ray Ray. Try to make a play because the dude got hit with the ball. Yeah, it was a savvy attempt by yeah. him. Obviously, obviously, he didn't get it done, but yeah, yeah, he had to make at least try to get and it. And then you got the field goal; they get blocked. That changed the game too, because at the end now they're competing for a field goal versus right. having to be a touch now. You think Mahomes gets the touchdown anyway, but it's makes it harder. Knows. It makes it harder, right? Yeah, it makes, it, makes it, it harder, harder man. man. Where you don't have that <clears throat> option of kicking the field goal at least ties it. Yeah, yeah, it was, I, yeah. It was a good game though. Good I, game. I, like I, said, I thought, man. I thought both teams did what they're supposed to do, man. I didn't think that, you know, I would walk away feeling like somebody played bad. I don't feel like, like, Purdy. I'm like, I don't think he played bad. I thought Purdy played really good. I thought McCaffrey played well. I thought Debo played well. I thought, if anything, you could say Kittle was kind of quiet. But I thought that was more so what the Chiefs were doing to kind of take away him. You know what I mean? Almost to the same extent of what they were, what the Niners were doing to Kelsey, trying to minimize him to an extent. But, yeah, I was like, man, I thought everybody did what they were supposed to do, man. It was just uncharacteristic, though, the people who made the turnovers. You get Mahomes with the pick. You got McCaffrey putting the ball on the ground. These the dudes are supposed to never be, you know, putting the ball. They're supposed to be the perfect players out there. And it's like, dang, them the ones. Pacheco had that fumble, too. Yeah. Bro, that was a tough one, too. Yeah, because that was about to be a score. That was bad, yeah. Mm-hmm. They were like That's why I thought it was about 10. to get weird, yeah. Thoughts on Purdy now, ranking-wise? It didn't move. But to me, I wasn't on this narrative of if the Niners were going to win it, that would catapult him into this like elite class. Because to me, 
I think Purdy's a really good player, and I thought last night it showed. I thought that he has some nice uh, timing throws, some nice anticipating throws. I thought he did a good job of extending the play at times also. But I just feel like there is a definitive difference when I'm naming Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, Justin Herbert, Joe Burrow, Patrick Mahomes, and that's five right there. I know, but but again, after yeah. that, it's it gets now. Murky. I'm talking Jalen Hurts. Yeah, I I think he's definitively top ten. I think he's definitively top ten. So if you want to argue Hurts over Purdy, Stafford over Purdy, obviously Rogers coming back, Rogers over Purdy. So that's uh, that's eight for me. Yeah, I think yeah. I think he's around there probably around okay. eight. If he would have won, maybe I would have given him an edge over some of those guys getting up into like the the five six, but hmm. didn't happen. Yeah, I mean that that was the yeah. difference right there, Purdy. Didn't elevate like Mahomes did. Yeah. But he still played really good, Mahomes though. is the best quarterback in the league. Yeah. And so, Purdy, we're talking about him being top 10. So, like, yeah. there you go. That's that's the difference in the game. So, the real question is, can you win with a top 10 quarterback, or do you need to have a top 5 quarterback? Because you just said it yourself, that's a top 10 quarterback, and we just saw it ourselves that that top 10 can't beat that one, even with the perfect team. Or not the perfect team, but – arguably one of the best teams in today's NFL. Top 10 will arguably the best team in the NFL. Went to overtime. <laughs> you can make that to Jalen Hurts a year ago. Jalen Hurts I mean. was top 10 with arguably the I mean. best team I, in football a so, year ago. Yeah, if, if you mean, if you're asking me, can you win a Super Bowl with Jalen Hurts or Brock Purdy? Yeah, I don't think you're blowing up your team or getting rid of those quarterbacks. Right. I, I think you're running it back with them. So, but you're saying you ran into Mahomes. Yeah, you're just hoping... Uh, Luck of the draw? Yeah. <laughs> at, at this point, yeah. Yeah. Because that's my whole thing. I'm like, bro, we're seeing two guys that we can argue and debate about being top 10. And I don't... Like, like if they play if, if they play this game 10 times, does San Fran win, you know, four, I think three they of should. them, something like I think that? they would. I Even do. five. Hell, they were the favorites coming in. That's what I'm saying. So. Yeah, it's just the Mahomes effect. Right. Yeah. But I do feel like if they played this game 10 times and everything was the exact same, sure, I think it... Five and five, six and four. I do slightly give the edge to Mahomes, but this is also one of those. This is a once in a you know you only get one opportunity at this. So on mm -hmm. paper, their team was better. That's why they were favored. So on paper, they should actually win the majority of them. We were just saying if it's a one game for your life, which we say the Super Bowl is, who are you taking? We say Mahomes, and that's why because it's like all right, all of that could make sense on paper. But when it's that time and you actually got to do it, we just believe in this dude a lot more because he's shown it a lot more. And it looks like nobody is close to him, whether we're talking Lamar, whether we're talking Josh, whether we're talking Purdy, whether we're talking Burrow, think, whether we're talking Burrow's Rogers. It's like we can say whoever we want, but it's like outside of that one year that we saw Pur or Burrow make that run. He ain't been back just yet. Well, yeah, he he was out all this year. That's part so of it. that's also a part of it. Yeah. He's he's been the closest though, or at least the guy that's well. He's gone actually won. Yeah, he he's won Mahomes. in the postseason yeah, because Josh beat has beat him in the regular season. But in terms of winning the postseason, Burrow and Brady are the only ones to do that. So that's the thing. It's like, and then I'll I'll, I'll give a nod to Allen for the 13 yeah. seconds game. Like he, no, you, you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mahomes. Like you technically beat him. Yeah. You technically did. Your defense but, didn't help you out. But, but you did it. Yeah, because that's Mahomes. That's Mahomes but you man. did what you had to do as yeah, a quarterback. Yeah. But when you left the field, you had the leader. When you left the field, you with checked 13 off. seconds yeah. left. Like, <laughs> Only You Mahomes. did what you had to do. This is the Mahomes effect. You see my PTSD acting up. I'm like, it's Mahomes, bro. It's 13 seconds. It's 13 too long, Okay. Yeah, I think you're you're feeling good if you're the Bengals. You have a Burrow. Bills, you have a Josh Allen. I mean, yeah, like a Purdy, a Hurts. If you got if you got the team like that, you could do it. You could definitely do it. I think the Eagles did everything that they could to win last year's game, but they had the stupid mistake with the Hurts fumble six. So what would you say is the difference? They just didn't then? have the ball last either. This is also true, yeah. I agree with you. And then in this game, it went to overtime. I thought Purdy played good. Like, the thing that I liked from Hurts and Purdy out of these last two Super Bowls is just seeing that they didn't fold. Like, you they, showed obviously up. they definitely did not. In yeah. a big game, you didn't choke. The moment yeah. wasn't too big for you. And I think that's part of the knock when we talk about You didn't Dallas. play as good as Mahomes, or you, yeah. you, you just showed that you're not the best quarterback in the league, which we all know every that. other quarterback yeah. in the league is not the best quarterback right. in the league. But you showed that you could perform it on one of those biggest stages. You're yeah. definitely a top-ten quarterback. And if you get in that spot again, yeah, you can win. 
Yeah. Like I, I wouldn't completely write you off. No, I would agree. And I, I was going to say that when you're talking Philly and the Niners, that was kind of what, to me, separates them from Dallas. Because I think Dallas has another team that is on par with a Niners or on par even with the Eagles. But when we're talking just a quarterback play with Dak, you're not as confident that he won't make those mistakes, that he won't, you know, piss the bed. Because we've seen he him can't do even that. get out of the division. Right. We've seen him do that. Whereas at least with Purdy and Hurts, they've shown that, okay, they might not be the top five dude, but they definitely. Hurts that, played like that in the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Hurts went balling. off. He was balling. Yeah. He but, had the turnover too, though. Yeah. Yeah. He's just not as consistent as. Mahomes, period. Like yeah. they got bounced in the wild card this year. Didn't have as good. They of a fell season. off a cliff this year too, yeah. bro. Yeah. yeah. If anything, Purdy's. Ah, he's still young for him. Let's let's see what he does another year. But I, yeah. I was gonna say Purdy's been more consistent than Hurts from when he started last year. Oh, to where he's and then right all now. the way. Yeah, because he. I mean, he had a damn good regular season. And then yeah. you know went to the NFC Championship in his first year, and then yeah. got to the Super Bowl in this year. Yeah. Whereas Hurts Super Bowl. Bounce wild card, like devastating yeah. end to the Eagles season. Yeah, and you think both of them dudes in terms, but it's of, still early for Purdy. And both I think they're in that in range. Of Hertz and Purdy though, MVP caliber seasons also. Yeah, because remember Hertz was a finalist, right? Hertz as was well. Second. Yeah, Purdy. I don't know if he ended up where he ended up in it, but he, he was, was still in the five, conversation. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. Anything else? Now you did say that you felt that Mason. <laughs> no, no, no! I need to hit his Mason part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 what were you saying about this Mason part? You said Mason, at one point in his game, you felt like Mason was going to be the better quarterback for either party. No, I just saw how the quarterbacks were playing. I was like, yeah, you know, the Mason I remember from these last four games of twenty twenty three. I think he could have been doing better than Mahomes and Purdy up to this point. You, you won't worry about the rush that was get, that was coming after them, boys. You won't uh, worry about that. Yeah, uh, I was a little buzzed up on tequila, but. <laughs> It's like, yo, it was under pressure, man. It was under duress. Yeah. It was fun, though. I thought Mason could have held his own. Respect. Respect. The 2023 Mason. I think he Respect. could have held his own in the Super Bowl. I like 2023 Mason. You know that. You know I like 2023 Mason. I just don't know. Because we're talking about the Super Bowl. We ain't talking about a regular season game or even like a walk or playoff game. We're talking about the Super Bowl, where it's like the best of the best. And it's Mahomes you playing against. Or it was the Niners we was playing against. I just uh, forgive me if if you know I'm a little skeptical. That's all. Just 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 a tinky bit. Now if we get there, it's totally different belief because I didn't see him do some stuff. But yeah, I don't know, man. That's one of them moments, man. One of them games. Like yeah, until you actually in that thing, I don't know. I, I got you got to prove it to me, man. I need to see it. I, I had questions about Purdy. I thought Purdy played lights out, man. He was confident. He did not look like the moment was too big. He was not the he one making loose. the mistakes. Seriously, he got it bro. Over the middle of the field on some of those threads. Yeah, he like surprised me at times, bro. I was like, okay, I like this because at this moment, man, this is where yo. Know, if this moment ain't too big for you, ain't never. It's never gonna be a moment this bigger than man. So that's the thing. But and it was he's like, young, so it, you just he's only gonna know, learn yeah. from this going forward. Oh, absolutely. Like, I don't man. think he's going anywhere. It's absolutely. Like the Niners are gonna move off from him. Yeah. In fact, you come back more pissed off. You come back even more hungry. Now. The thing that's going to be their whole issue is just that race like we talked about. We said with Mahomes, beforehand it was, okay, you win it before you pay him. Now you pay him. Can he still elevate? We've seen Mahomes is still able to elevate even two, three years now into the extension. With Purdy, he's still on the rookie deal. So you realistically got another season to milk this type of dynamic. And then after that, you got to make a decision of who's getting gone because ultimately you're going to keep Purdy. Purdy has definitely shown that he's a guy. So you at least believe in that to the extent, but you do know once you pay him, you losing some of these pieces that have really helped make him to what we say in the years right now. And that's going to be the whole debate with it. You should be all right. I think you should be all right. You're going to have to pay him Daniel Jones type money. And I know how you feel about Daniel Jones' contract. I, I guess what I'm saying is, like, with him getting more experience, it becomes more his team, more yeah. his offense. I'm with you. And maybe you could replace one of those receivers with a guy you draft in the second round. Yeah. I know it's not always sure fire, but with no. Ken, Kyle Shanahan as your coach, I think the odds are uh, greater than if he wasn't there. No, I'm with you on that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm definitely with you on that. that if you can keep a thing. good defense, you, you keep a McCaffrey round. But you know how much money they have on that roster, bro? Keep one of those receivers, and then you, you bring in free agents, bring in a guy with for the draft for your wide receiver yeah. three, wide receiver two. 
Like they in that weird phase of you'll be competitive. I think you'll I think you'll consistently be competitive if you okay. stick with Shannon, stick with Purdy. You're always gonna have a chance. Almost like how next, like, five years. like how Stafford was this year with the Rams. Yeah. Next yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Because that's how I feel McVay. like like if Purdy can be on that level, then yeah. Because we would agree that Puka was balling, but Stafford was a big part of, you know, just being able to keep everything to what it was. Once everybody started to be, you know, shipped off because of how the contracts that work. So that's my thing with Purdy. If Purdy can do what we say in a Stafford does, which we say Stafford is a top 10 dude now that he don't want a Super Bowl as well. If he's doing yeah. that, then, yeah, they still float and everything looks good. If he comes off of that, though, that's where it gets weird. Right. That's And that's the whole, what is he, right? Yeah, does he continue on his projected trajectory right yeah. now? Or is the more tape that gets out on him, uh, he gets more exposed? No. I, I'm leaning the former. I don't think he's going to get exposed. That's I, what I, I mean. I'm leaning the, the former. I think yeah. he's going to be fine. I think he's going to be a mm. solid starter for the Niners, top 10 guy no. for the foreseeable future. A guy that you can build around. Not not a guy that you want to be given Mahomes type of money or you know top three, top five type of money. But it's it's where it gets interesting because Shard. every quarterback that's up each offseason yeah. wants the most money. Yeah, That's how it's traditionally been, where you got Joe Flacco getting paid the most out of all the quarterbacks yeah. in the league going back to like 2012. Now, I don't think Purdy is going to have that type of Stafford temperament. getting ridiculous contracts. But I do feel Detroit. like it changes a lot if he is getting $40 million because now in terms of – the D line, you got Chase Young, you got Nick Bosa, you got Javon Hargrave, you got Eric Armstead over there, you got Shavarius Ward on the back end, you got Fred one, you got Dre Greenlaw. It's like these are Pro Bowls and all pros, all pros. You know what I mean? That's before we talk a Trent Williams, a Christian McCaffrey, a Debo Samuels, a George Kittle, a Cal Hooschek. Well, they should have never had this team to begin with. I, I'm with you. You know I agree with you. You, you like know I agree with you. It got absurd. You know I agree with you, bro. I don't even know how you, they're affording all this with Purdy. You, because this is what the Rams were on two, was that two years ago when they did it? They won it with Odell, Jalen Ramsey. It was like, yo, how do y'all have all of them here right now? You got to pay for it. They're going to have to pay for this in the next year or two. The Rams, Some dead cap about, or something. The Rams have been paying for it the past two years. The difference was Stafford has kept them afloat. Stafford kept them afloat. Otherwise... They would be going the opposite direction right now. Yeah, like there was no logical reason they were able to sign Javon Hargrave to a $20 million on, contract bro. this offseason. There's no on, reason. Bro. I, I, I thought, all right, San <laughs> Fran. Like how you doing this, man? They went to the NFC Championship yeah. last year. They got a really good team. There's brought, no way they have cap space to do anything. They're just going to run it back, Javon right? Javon Hargrave. Uh, Javon Hargrave. Hargrave. He's, he's going to be fetching a big contract. Hargrave. Should the Steelers ring him back? There's yeah. a couple other teams Hargrave. in the mix. Is Hargrave. he going to go back to the Eagles? Yeah. Oh, the Niners. Yeah, the I never Niners. even thought Niners were a serious oh, destination. Look, look, look. Pay cut for the Niners? Oh, no, no. He got paid more. I was like, how, yeah, he how got paid more than we thought he was going to get. How did that happen? Yeah, yeah, we're on the same page, man. We are definitely on the same page. <laughs> but that's the thing. So it's like they're about a year or two away from it. Here's what I'll reset, say, man. Here's what I'll say. Uh, if someone deserves forty million between Brock Purdy and Daniel Jones, it's Brock it's Purdy. Purdy. Yeah, it's Purdy. Like I'd be more apt to paying him forty man. million than Daniel Jones. I don't think the conditions are exactly apples to apples, but I do agree with what you where you going with it. I feel more confident in Purdy aging his contract out way better than Daniel Jones. I just think Daniel Jones' situation, the team, organization, even his new coach, that's not the same scenario as what Purdy walked into over there in San Fran where it's fully loaded. You got a coach that's already been to a Super Bowl, a proven system, and now you come in here and you play really well. You know what I mean? I think for Daniel Jones, it was like, all right, it's either you or Saquon. And we're going to figure it out. Brian Dable, can you be a head coach at this level? We're going to figure it out. I think it was just a lot of that going on. But them dropping 40 on him was like, yo, that's also, I don't agree with that either. So that's why I'm like, I do think Purdy is going to age out a lot better. I just don't feel like Daniel Jones' situation in New York is the same as what he's dealing with over in San Fran, man. I get that. But at the same time, you can only go off this is true. Of what you have. This is also true, man. Purdy's, Purdy's there. He's 100%. pulling the trigger. And... He got the Niners to an NFC Championship. Maybe could have even got him to a Super Bowl yeah. last year if he didn't get hurt, and then got him to a Super Bowl this year. And yeah, it's just playing flat out, damn good. I agree, man. Like you can't knock Purdy's play. That was by that play go. You can't watch this game and be like, "Yo, Purdy sucks." Like we could no. talk about uh, what if Dax in that system, Kyler's in that system, Trevor Lawrence. It's like they're not. They're so not, I, I don't know. I'm I'm seeing this guy yeah. perform well in it. And 
I've seen other quarterbacks fail in that system. It's yeah, like, that's true it's too. not just about key improvise. You also got to be very disciplined like talented in that system. guys as well. Yeah, you got to be disciplined though in that system, man. And I'm it's saying like, the most proven guys, but talented guys yeah. like a Trey Lance. Wait, like on paper, Trey Lance was way more talented than Brock Purdy. Yep. So I'm, I'm, yeah, we're on the same page with that, man. But that's my thing. It's like you can't knock Purdy, man. Purdy, I think is a dang on good quarterback, man. Yep. Like absolutely. I got him top ten. I like it. He's got my respect. I like it. I like it. Just, just, just to follow. How you feel about Kirk Cousins? I just wanted to just ask. I, just, I, I know. How do I feel about? Yeah, just him? Where, 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 I'm just, I'm just asking questions, bro. Not you, in the top ten. He's not your top. Is he top fifteen? I'm just trying to figure out. He might be at this. I mean, he oh, might be. That, that's a step in the right direction. I appreciate you for that. I he might be just by default. Just, it, we ain't got to talk no more about it. I just, I just, as long as that that reflect. I was like, okay, we we can that we can go. That that's beautiful. He's in the Kyler deck. Can, can I interest? Where do where is Tannehill ranking at? Is he, is he further back or where is he? Oh uh, yeah, he's okay. He's down. He's, he's in the twenties. Yeah, twenties. Twenties for low twenties or high twenties. I don't know. I'd have to look. All right, respect, respect. All right, okay. What do you mean by low twenties? Like closer to twenty nineteen okay. versus uh, closer to thirty. Mm, probably twenty five six. Okay. I'd have to look at it though. Because he wasn't even really like the Titans quarterback last year. He no, was kind of was. Yeah. It was half him, half Levis. Mm-hmm. Neither of them really did much. Yeah. I have to look at it. I, that's not something that's keep me up at night. My Tannehill rank. Not, not yet. Not yet. 